Hey, the, the streets of Vegas. Streets of Vegas, season three, episode seventeen, with my man Hitman Beats. Hit, hit. What's up, Ooh. man? What's good? What's good? Hit he hit himself, man. Yeah. Been trying to get this cat in this chair, uh, you know. For a minute, man, I've been, you know, his, his beats been all over the streets of Vegas and everywhere else for a long time, man. Legendary producer right here, man. You know, Dev, so how you been, bro? I've been cool, man. Yeah, okay, you know okay, man. See you doing your things. New to, the new album just dropped, uh, Time to Tax 2, right? Yes, yeah, sir. okay, yes, yeah, sir. yeah, Time yeah. Time to Tax 2, go get that right now. Yeah, it's on everything, all the, all the platforms. And, yeah, I was bumping it on uh, on Spotify Hell and yeah. stuff, man. And this, pre you know, is the one after Time to Tax 1, but this one, you really want to make a statement with this album, from what I understand, right? Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. Like, I didn't want to do the little 10 song, 7 song standard, mm -hmm. and, uh, like, I remember I was doing music and somebody told me, you need to do more songs by yourself. So yeah, on, yeah. Uh, on that time tax, the first one, I really had that many features. So on this mm -hmm. one, I put like, I put as many people I could on this one. Yeah, you went in on this one, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and what was the um, the concept behind that? Like, it was like, time to tax, like it's time to like get what I deserve in this game, kind of exactly. like two minutes, yeah. yeah. It's like it's not even just for me. It's for mm -hmm. like everybody. Like for everybody, everybody yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Like you've been working a job for ten years. And yeah, like, you feel me? It's yeah, time to tax. yeah. Like, it's it's that it's that time. It's yeah, everybody. I feel yeah. you. I feel you. And it's a universal statement, like ain't it? From yeah. what I've been yeah. doing for so long, everybody already know. Like with the beats and recording people, and I was always showing love. And yeah, all that shit, but I mean, I got a baby now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Things really are di yeah. yeah, things are different, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. people knowing you, how long? How long you been in the game, man? What What was your inspiration to getting in the in the production side of the game? Uh, I've been in there since two thousand six. I say. Okay. Okay. But yeah. like, I wanted to. But be you a came up fast, though, man. Yeah, I wanted can't. to be a producer when I was in like eighth grade. You feel me? Really? So yeah, like when I was. What, in what was grade, some of your inspiration, like? Like, like one day up? we uh one day we did a uh, report. Okay. And um. I, I made mine on producers or okay. whatever, so I had to go look it up, and I'm looking up all these producers, all the, all the type and seeing producers who all and make stuff. beats and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And after that, I was like, all right, I'm already, I was already in band. Wow. So I was already doing music. I was already playing the drums at the okay, church. Okay. Okay. Like, he was already in the game, yeah, being like already, music. Why? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. already musically inclined. Yeah. So. What was your first piece of equipment? Uh, just a regular uh, PC desktop. Yeah, uh, I'm about to say Fruity. Okay, yeah. Fruity Loops. Yeah, hey, yeah. it was crazy though how Fruity Loops changed the game, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. I knew it was going to. Like, but you like, had to really sit there and master that shit. You really yeah. had because it was like land keys. It wasn't playing so much, but you still had to be nice with it though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you came from that, man. Huh? Yeah, is that that was kind of back then? If I'm wrong, you had kind of like more of a trap sound too. That's what mean? everybody would say. But yeah. But not necessarily. It, that, not yeah. It's it's like this. If they thought you was just like a track. Yeah, yeah. yeah so if yeah. I'm making like fifty beats. Okay. Right, okay. And they not all trap beats. Okay. So, they got different But when people come through, yeah. And they shop for beats, they don't want to buy the different shit. They want to buy the They want they want that hitty hit yeah. shit. No, they want that hit. Yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. Back then, so okay. everybody wanted the trap beats and all the yeah. other beats they were just on the computer still and they yeah. wasn't out. Yeah. Want people to hear because I don't just drop my shit like that. Yeah, so, yeah. Everybody kept calling me a trap producer, and I'm like, I'm not. You didn't want to be pigeonholed into yeah, that, though. I'm I, not. Wonder, I think it was just something with that era, but like you say, if cats are coming through and this is the beats they requesting, I got it. Right. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I noticed your shit was like, it wasn't like. That's all you did was trap beats because I started hearing you like sample. Like, I'm going to tell you right. what's my joint is that. Uh, uh, that 808 with Twix. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of beats. Hey, my 808 be banging. Bangin'. When the hood we hanging. Bangin'. Chains on they swinging. Face, face down, she planking. Hey, face down, she planking. Head it to the ship. And your ship sink. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah, that, that's that, that favorite. motherfucker, man. Yeah. Like, cause you sample. And I'm like, okay. He ain't a trap, just a trapper. This yeah. nigga can rock the samples. Yeah, I love you know? samples. Yeah. That's like my. 
that's like my favorite type of beats to make though. Yeah, that, that was cool. And even on, on this album, it came a long way. Yeah, I'm like, a what sample. a way to open the album, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And what people don't know is uh came a long way. That that first sample track is the same sample as the outro. Is it? I sampled it twice. Just reflipped it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's crazy. Speaking of that, would you say Fruity Loops or Machine? Damn, right now, machine. Cause machine. Machine is just ill, though, man. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. with Fruity Loops, like I'm a clicker when, okay. I, when it comes to okay. that. I'm, okay, I'm clicking okay. everything in. Okay. But when I'm using machine, I'm I'm on you the beat machine it, and I'm on the keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But sometimes I go back mm. just because like, I feel like I draw my music better sometimes. Yeah. Because I don't yeah. know how to play the keyboard. So. But you can, that's crazy, though, I, what you just said. You can't really play, but you can. I draw, draw it and know how you want it to feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I can draw it did you did you feel you had to to do what you did with Fruity Loops? You had to, you had to have it mastered to a certain extent to do what you had, was able to do. I feel like you don't have to have it mastered, but you do need to know a lot. Like, yeah, you gotta know like like me. I didn't read the book or none of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We just, we just figured played out. with it every day. Yeah, but nowadays yeah. you could just go on YouTube if you want to know something, and, yeah. and you can find everything you want to know now. So yeah. I went to school in 2007 to 2008 for okay. recording arts. For recording, okay. At Full okay. Sail University. Really? The, the that's a big one. school. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I went to school for music, so I went there and uh, that's how I learned everything. Yeah. Like, I thought I was gonna learn how to make beats, but I learned. What, what, what was you initially going for? I was trying to go to learn how to make beats better, like really? to produce, be a producer, yeah. but when so I got there. So it wasn't necessarily an engineer or nothing like it, it just all kind of. No, it was engineering and it was it was a lot of classes like teaching all the programs yeah and all that. yeah but yeah i thought it was just for beats but it wasn't oh, man that's crazy so you had that in your mind like this is what i want to do because it seems like that's all i know you for man and like you know i salute you brother because it seemed like you just you did your you've been doing your thing with you i'm gonna fuck with these beats niggas know you for these beats this is what i do yeah. you know what i mean is that was that your mindset like when you finished school? Okay, I'm I'm going straight with music. Yeah, I was supposed to go with two other people, but they ain't go. But um, yeah. shit, I I I always was gonna do music. Like I ain't know what else to do. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't want to do nothing else. Yeah, 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 it's for, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a blessing to be able to do you, you know, to the fullest, man. To yeah. the fullest. What was your? Would you, would you consider yourself a double threat? Like, if you say producer rapper, which one would it? Would it? What would? What would the scales be? I'll say triple threat, because I'm the engineer too. The engineer so I can too. Record, yeah. And I can make the beat, and I can write your verse for your hook. And I know you used to write the hooks real big yeah. too. Yeah. So you can do every component of it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's a hell of a, and that's really. Do you think, with that being said, do you think it's the difference between a producer and a beat maker? Yes. Yeah. What would you say the difference is? The difference is, if you got a producer, he's not gonna just let you record the song on your own. Okay. He okay. gonna be there while you recording the song and okay. telling you what he think and what sound right and if you sound whack or yeah, like which way really to go. in there yeah. like, oh, do the hook like this or change that or oh, let's change the beat on this okay. part. Okay. Like the beat maker, he just gonna make the beat, send it to you and be done with and it. And be like, done, no matter how you sound yeah, on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. made the beat. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's a big difference, big difference. Yeah, man. but sometimes like, bro, I got people that like, that made like, I'm gonna say like a whack song, right? Yeah, and they yeah. put it out mm -hmm. and then when they get in the comments, all the bad comments, yeah. they hit me up like, oh man, you produced this song. Yeah, but it, uh, yeah. I didn't produce that song. Yeah. I wasn't there when you did it. You right. I that's a big deal. I just I made you did yeah. what you did on the beat. That's on you. Yeah, you know I see what you saying. That's yeah, yeah. 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 Cause you done slung a lot of beats in these streets, man. Hell you know, yeah. like I know you did some work on uh Bay Blues 18 months project. Yeah. I was feeling what you did on that. You know what I mean? What, what was the name of your first album? Was it like it wasn't Vegas Talk, was it? No. Nah. That one actually came out last year, and then Time Tax One came out before that. So. Okay, okay, baby. So um, yeah, too real for a deal. Nah, I know that was a. Yeah, that was a, I, I went. Mm -hmm. I was. I had a feel on that cover, man. I'm yeah. like, man, this nigga throws some, you know. Yeah, shout out to Lego. He did that one. Okay. But, uh, yeah. No, nah, my first album was called The Re Up. Okay. Okay. And was that just you, or was it nah. just? Or was it, it like was, it was some songs I wasn't even on. I just did the beat, but I was just trying to put together a mixtape. Mm -hmm. 
I wasn't even rapping like that then. Man, that's crazy. That was your first project? Yeah, that mm. was the first one. Mm. Okay. And what album is this we on now with Time to Tax 2? What, what number is that? Like, Let's see, I came out with Vegas Talk. Yeah. I came out with 50 Grams with B Love. Okay. We got a joint uh, album. Then I came out with Sequel Life. Okay. Let me, let me see that bag. Too Real for a Deal. Cause I think fully yeah. loaded. That was a mixtape. I think when I last caught up to you was this joint. Boom. Yep. That's yeah. It right I there. I came, yeah, life. Yeah. I, yeah. I came when I came. I said, man, that's sequel life right here. That's like my first album. Album. Like, yeah. Real, I though. remember when I caught up to you. I said, man, I you know I appreciated what you did. You know, you came out official. You know what I'm saying? Had all your shit lined up. Yeah. That's great. But that's not even to count all the tracks you didn't did. Like you did joint projects with, like you and Jay Styling. Y'all do a lot of shit together yeah, too, right? We um. We did two songs. I show love when niggas hate it. Um, you niggas broke, mad. I got the new jacket. I remember them days. Um, I show love when niggas hate it. Um, his album, and then he did two songs with me for my album. Okay, so. yeah. And then I know you got you had a connection with like the Filthy Rich yeah, and all. How did all that happen? Like, is that like a working thing? You just um, did some music for him? Well, or? I was, I was. One day uh, I got a phone call. It was a 702 number. They was uh -huh. like, hey, yo, this filthy rich. This uh -huh. hit, man. I'm like, this is not filthy. Like, yeah, this like this nigga's not bullshitting. Even a, this is not yeah. even a 702 number. So Damn. I hung up on him, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, shit, time went by. My homeboy was like, man, we need to get you highlighted. What are all rappers that you know that you can call right now? Yeah. I'm like, man, some nigga named Filthy Rich just called me, but I don't Damn. think it was him. Yeah. He's like, man, Filthy called you. better call him back. You didn't even know it was him. I didn't know who he was. Wow, uh, man, so that's then, uh, crazy. Uh, I called him back. Then he like meet me at the rim shop. Met him at the rim shop. He like, you got a studio? I'm like, yeah. yeah. We drove to the uh, to my house. Yeah, I had it in the garage and shit. We did the first song we did was uh, "Swear to God." When he had dissed all, everybody in the bay. On, yeah, on the that first was, time man. So I'm like, oh how, shit. How did you feel coming out on that, man? I'm like, like oh shit, this nigga about to get me popping, but fuck. Yeah. Did you catch any backlash from that shit? Like Hell your nah. name was on the beat and all that? Yeah. Nah, nah, yeah. but, um, and then he was fucking with Jim Jones. Had okay, Deep okay. at that time, like yeah. Vamp Life. Okay, so, uh, I remember that Vamp Life movement. So yeah, when yeah. he posted the song or whatever, Jim Jones posted it on his Instagram too, and I was like, "Damn, man, that kind of blew up." Then, yeah, 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 that's crazy, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, Filthy Rich, and then you did some stuff with uh, is Mozzie and stuff too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty big. Did he reach out to you too? Or what? No, like, I met him through Filthy. So, really? Because yeah. they, used, you know, they used to be hella cool and shit. Yeah, I know Mozzie's pretty big though, man. I have yeah. your name. Is there anybody yeah. that you haven't Mar worked with that you would like to work with? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm trying to work with like all them rappers from like the 07, 08 era. Like okay, Wayne, that that yeah, Fab, yeah. Joel, Santana, okay, you like, feeling it? Okay, yeah. That was a hell of an era, wasn't it? Yeah, they about yeah. to be they about to be done. I'm yeah, like, they, damn, I'm trying to get them. Yeah, on my shit trying to before. bring them yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to get them on my shit. That's but interesting. Like the new wave, it's like I don't know, like probably like. What's that dude name? Smoke Perp. Smoke Perp. Okay, okay. Uh, Trippy Red. Okay. Um, Uzi, few of them people like that. Yeah, yeah, they yeah yeah they hot nowadays. I know yeah. they gonna get it. they gonna they gonna go gold or buy them easy. They got yeah the, yeah they got the fan base. Yeah shit. yeah you guys you got a pretty big YouTube channel too, man. You know all, all your video. I caught some live performances on it. Yeah. How was that the show you did last? I think it was last month. The Uman or what was it? Uh, oh, it was an all right show. Like yeah. the venues in Vegas, they just they not they not up to par like, up to par like, up on that level yeah, that like, it should be that's why we don't have like packed shows like the that. look we get yeah, yeah. it's like am i gonna go to this local show that look like shit yeah or am i finna go to the strip and be in a go see a nigga like future or yeah Meek and, and it's gonna these, be a legit yeah yeah, yeah, gonna be yeah, popping. yeah like yeah. certain venues you can't have alcohol so People already don't want to be there. Now they can't get drunk. And they like, can't get drunk. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Like, so that you think that's a, that's a problem in Vegas though, man? Yeah. 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 It's a big problem. Yeah. Like certain venues we can't smoke at. Like. Yeah. That kills everything though, don't it? I'm talking. I'm not even talking about weed. Just smoking. Yeah. Period. Like, yeah. Damn. Like that's killing it. Like we already got. Oh, man. And we bring the us. crowd. Yeah. 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 I knew it was something about you know like that. They, they got good venues, but the good venues they don't want they don't want us to perform. You can't at. get them. You yeah. can't get them. Yeah, 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 so. yeah, yeah. Like Man. they got the Cracker Box. That's way on Nelson. What is it like? A, yeah, a Nelson, Nelson like Bonanza, Nelson, Washington. Is that a good venue or? It's cool, but it's like 
people not gonna come here. Yeah, like, it's because because the level was on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know what you're saying. It'd deep, be different east, if you was going to somewhere, somewhere on the strip. near the strip or yeah, on the strip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for yeah. sure, they're gonna come. Especially to do it on a certain level in Vegas. You don't want to look like you're doing it on that type right. level. Yeah, like we yeah. in a karaoke bar. Like, yeah, oh, something man. like that. Ain't yeah, got no stage. Yeah, no yeah, stage. yeah, 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 yeah. They go on the floor jumping around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you uh did you participate in a lot of the the beat battles and shit? Like how did you feel yeah, when that? I did. Cause that was going on pretty strong, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah what I was, was your feeling in competing in the, in the beat battles? Um, I liked it. Like um, it was cool. It was just like damn. Like I just wish that they had different judges, like people yeah, that yeah, actually yeah. made beats or something. That actually, yeah, different criteria of yeah, judges. You think? Yeah. I feel like I lost hella battles that I should have won. It could have been biased, but, maybe. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but it was always okay. Hitman, we gotta we gotta grade him harder. He gotta yeah. come with something. Why do you think that is? Because because of the level he was on, like yeah. they expected more. Yeah, out of, of course. Yeah. And like yeah. even when we first started to beat battle league, yeah. like two thousand nine Shakespeare, I I always had to go to overtime with somebody. Like yeah. Like wow. it wasn't a clear cut <laughs> like, win. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. 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 Like, y'all let me 3 0 everybody into the final round and wow. then I got an overtime yeah. and then y'all say I lose. But then you can't tell me how I lost or what made you think this nigga beat was better. Yeah. Or, like, yeah. they don't tell you. They just pick the winner and. Pick the winner, like, yeah. Okay. Like, it's another criteria or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's mixing in the beat, yeah. it's breakdowns, it's transitions. How, how, how many beats would it be? Like, would it be like, okay, I play my one beat, or would it be three beats against three beats? Or like, how would three it be? Three beats against three beats. Okay. Sometimes and what, what are they ba- Are they based on crowd participation or the judges? Yeah, or, it'll be well, like, it'll be like three judges and uh-huh. the crowd is one. Okay. And, or four judges and then yeah. the host, or yeah. just like that, like. Yeah. But Niggas knew a hitman beat though. They they graded it harder. Well, I used to be yeah. mad because they used to be like, "Oh yeah, you should have worn that shit." Everybody does. The Damn. Whole, the whole venue. You man, feel me? Man. Like, oh no, nah, man, man, that's man. that's so gay. Like my team looking at me, mad as a motherfucker. Yeah, like, bro, yeah, yeah. why you ain't make them transitions? Like, I can't yeah. make this nigga change the decision. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like we yeah. we gonna hear it on YouTube yeah. and they gonna find out. They gonna but, find out. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't, man. You right. That's that's <laughs> crazy. Right. Yeah. How so I, I just I stopped doing that shit though. Did you man just kind of like y'all, y'all, y'all course? trying to mess up my name? Like I yeah. can't keep losing. That's it true. To That's true. Yeah. People I never even heard of. Like people don't <laughs> never even, even heard of. People don't buy your tracks. And yeah. Then he can be like, yeah, I beat him in a battle. And then it's gonna fuck. Yeah, I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. So, so it's really, it really could be a career risk. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, for sure. yeah, so yeah. this nigga lost but to me. Who actually, are you? Actually, I yeah. don't think so because I lost a few, and like. After I seen like people still gonna buy beats, they from still it. Don't gonna matter fuck with you. Yeah. you know but why? Maybe for somebody else. But yeah, not but for you. Me, yeah. But you, it's because I think you had a brand already. You had it was like established brand. You know what you're gonna get mm-hmm. when you go to Hitman Beats. You know how would you say your sound has has changed or evolved since you started to to where it's at now? Of course, you grow as a producer. How how do you feel it is? Shit, I just feel like the more sh- the more software and the more sounds they come out with, that's what's changing. Um, that's what's changing the game because I do not use the same kits that kits, I did. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's probably wrong with some people. They just stuck in their ways. They uh, probably still using the same shit. They don't that's experiment why. or nothing yeah, like a yeah, yeah, yeah. When I think about it, like damn, I've been making beats since two thousand six. A lot of and, shit has changed. And, and yeah. I still got or probably more. Uh-huh. Traffic like still coming. You so still like, got it coming. Yeah, I be thinking yeah, like, yeah. damn, when is this shit going in? <laughs> it, don't, it don't stop, like, man. It, it don't stop. In? Especially since you got you got the the Hitville Studio opened up. Yep. All right, congratulations yep. on that. Hell yeah, yeah, that just I, opened up, huh? Yeah, I was just sitting in the studio the other day, like, damn, man, where all the artists at? Who? Where, why ain't nobody recording them? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Just boom, like boom, it now, boom. you're too busy. Too yeah, busy. I'm too busy. Yeah, too yeah. busy. Yeah. That's crazy, man. People mad I'm down here right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I appreciate you coming through though, man. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Because you got to stop the show for a minute mm-hmm. and go go do something else. Yeah, but it all works. This is yeah. press and all that. You know, niggas been waiting on this story man you yeah, know what i mean yeah. i know you did some shit before but i think the way we chop it up man, niggas been waiting on this man you know yeah. so uh, that's good though man and what, what side of the vegas you from man since we you know this is the streets of vegas well you know and i don't know you know bullshit or nah, nothing, that's but not good, you west side shit, i'm from the west side but you fuck with I, niggas out everywhere though i know that but yeah you west side vegas yeah okay. I, I came from hawaii okay with my family when i was like four or five then okay. we uh 
we was like in Summerland. We moved straight to the West Side. Damn. Like when I was way like, back in the early summer days. I, day, huh? I went to uh, Kid Carson. Kid Carson, I went to okay. West yeah, you was school. right there then. Uh, yeah, you went to West. Yeah. Wow. And then in ninth grade. I went to Mojave and we had moved into the state. So then okay. we was in the north. So I spent half my life on the west side and then half my life in the north. So I fuck with both. Both of them, yeah. yeah. That's that's crazy too, man. And that kind of you know people from all over. Was you doing music in high school then? Yes. Different era, man. We talking like MySpace and yes. different was, era, huh? We was big on MySpace though. Yeah. It was crazy. MySpace seemed like it was big for like artists coming up like that. It was. You know? We yeah. was getting like a lot of um plays like when I made this song called Gutter Bitch. That was like my like my biggest song ever, probably yeah. to this day. Yeah, like that shit was on uh, MySpace, and people could add your songs on their MySpace page. Yeah, so it was crazy. The man. song was on yeah. everybody' page, and then yeah. we had broke like eighty thousand plays, and I was like, "Damn, what the hell?" How can you capitalize on that though? Like, we that, didn't that, know though. Yeah, didn't you know didn't how. know. Yeah, it was early in the game. Yeah, it was early it in was the game. Early, so we didn't mm -hmm. know shit. We didn't know how we could have got paid off of it, making a ringtone, none of that shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Man, that's crazy. How would you say, you know, as we great we great wrap up, man? How would you say the the industry uh, has changed in the state of the game for producers right now? I think, like, basically with the whole streams thing, that yeah. shit killed for rappers and producers like that. Monetarily wise, man. man. Because I was, I remember, like, when I first started, we was. Um, I didn't have my shit on iTunes when we first started okay. though, but you had to buy the CDs for ten dollars. Yeah, you had. Song, yeah, yeah, ninety nine yeah. cent. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. It broke it up right there, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. So now yeah. you got Apple Music and Spotify. Yeah. Where they I didn't do gotta, record labels. I don't gotta pay nine ninety nine no more or pay a dollar a song. I can yeah. listen to this whenever I want to. Whenever I free. want. Yeah. So yeah. they pimped the game, didn't they? So now that they did that, it's like damn. Why am I gonna go buy this this dude? Like, say you got two favorite rappers. That's twenty dollars. Yeah, that's twenty dollars. I, I can just pay ten dollars a month, and I can have <laughs> Even all more, five. Hey, of my it's cold rappers. how they did it at the end. Yeah, and then the streams don't they amount to nothing. It like, don't count as like a royalty play. It don't count like yeah, radio play. You need a million streams just to make fifteen hundred. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, slave. My album out right now. I got yeah. twenty thousand streams. Damn, that's not shit. That ain't shit. Yeah. But that's good if you looked at it based on the math they put to it. They made it where it ain't worth shit, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy, man. So it's yeah. like, yeah, they messed up the game like that because, like, I'd be better off doing these. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least you know I'm gonna get it straight up. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get it straight up. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, get it straight I'm better up. off selling CDs because, yeah, yeah. like, that 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 streaming stuff is cool for like to get noticed. Yeah, to get noticed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can't to leverage it. You can't touch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Are people to find out about you? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it was good that shit was on there though. I was looking for that 808 on there. I'm like, man, this yeah, is before not, that time. I, yeah. I need a copy of that, man, yeah. for real, I man. The cover and all that. Yeah. I'm like, hey, this shit's crazy. Shit, man, in Vegas, the industry out here is just messed up because nobody that's older can even tell us anything. They, yeah, yeah. Like if you if you, you think, think they about, don't want to tell us something, or they can't tell they nobody know. nothing. Look, they don't know. It's, it's like this: you got Atlanta, Cali, New York. Yeah. And we'll say Florida type okay. shit, right? All right. They got the record labels out there, right? Right. So that means people out there, somebody in your family could have worked for a label. Yeah, yeah. Somebody could have been an A&R. Somebody, somebody. could have been a manager or something, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Now you think about here, we ain't got none of that. Like me, my mom and dad don't know shit about the music game. If yeah. I go ask my homie, his yeah. mom and dad don't know don't about know the music nobody. game. Don't know nobody, yeah, yeah. All we don't got nobody Vegas up there about, that could yeah, yeah, but yeah. all you guys people tell you word of mouth shit like, oh man, you better get your songs copyrighted. Oh, you better yeah, get your shit registered, yeah, but you can't yeah, tell me who yeah. or how it worked. You don't or really know exactly how to, what to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, and the music business, like they say, is still business. Yeah, it's just happened to be music yeah, business. It's ten percent talent. Yeah, yeah, 90 uh, business. Exactly, so, exactly, exactly. Yeah, you just gotta know. It. You just gotta know all that stuff. Yeah, right? and know how to get your money. But in Vegas, we. Nobody don't really know the game like that. It's only a few people, and the ones that do, they don't. They, they don't want to give it up. Yeah, yeah they don't want to give it up. That, so. yeah, yeah. But anything anybody want to know, I'll tell them because I don't. Yeah. I really don't care. Like, yeah, you, you just know, stay grinded, If man. I know, I'm gonna yeah. tell you. It's a, you know, it's you know, it's sharing game, and you'll get it back. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You'll get it back, man. You know, real talk. But uh, what can we look forward to, man? Coming up from you, man. You know. Man. Anytime future or the rest of this year oh, or I whatever you got working right on? Now. I got uh, Yada on there right now. Okay, I got, okay. Uh, this dude, Tony Omob. Uh, okay, some new shit you're working on? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm just always You do some shit songs. on Yada's uh, upcoming album? Nah, see, okay. I ain't never even, um, 
I never even got to uh, get in the lab with him like that. Like, yeah. We've been in the lab together, but. But never like made yeah, it like, work like hey, that, yeah. Let's check out some beats in your head. I think that shit would be hard, you and him do something. Yeah, he you keep know? telling me the emails and shit. I keep telling him to pull up, but he ain't out here, but. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna send him a pack though on me. Yeah, shout out to Yada. He was on the show. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, send him a pack. You know what I'm saying? Sure? I love to hear some shit like that, you know? Definitely, man. Anything else that people need to know about your hit, man? That they don't know, they yeah. they ain't heard this niggas' names in the streets. You know what I mean? Man, so. uh, I um, I just I'm just pushing the studio, man, and just pushing this music right now. So I just want everybody that's out there listening and shit to support me, and, um, cause I'm trying to do big things for my city. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, it'd be people that come here and blow up. Yeah, faster yeah, than yeah. Uh, an artist from here. Ha, fast than somebody with their roots in the ground. Yeah, you know? it's crazy. Yeah, like yeah. y'all, like people in Vegas, it's it's everywhere, but mostly in Vegas. In Vegas, you I feel seen, it more, yeah. It's yeah. like y'all support people that's not from here rather than more y'all than support the people. people that is from here. Yep. So, yep. like, cause I seen, hey, I ain't gonna lie, we blew Rich Homie Quan up. Like, yeah, I'm not yeah, even gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, that's like, true, him that's up true, out yeah, here. yeah. Like Gunna, yeah, Lil Baby. Yeah, all them, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. did a show out here and that yeah. shit was packed. Really? Like, yeah. and this was last year, like before they even dropped their albums, like they was, yeah. people before they Vegas was big, was like the, yeah, 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 so yeah. I'm just saying like. They showed them love and didn't even know them motherfuckers. And what the crazy part is, is y'all will blow them up. They'll come out here. Uh -huh. They'll tax us for verses. Taxes. They'll tax us for to do the video with them. They'll tax us to get a show. And they go. And, 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 and they're going to take our money and leave. They're never going to get back to Ain't us. Ain't no so love. Why yeah. not blow somebody up that's from here and we can help give back to our own? Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's real. Saying. Yeah, I, I believe that 100%, man. You know. Show it Other up, man. That, it's all good, man. Y'all know where to find me. I'm everywhere out here. Yeah. Hitman Beats, the streets of Vegas, DJ D. Falls, signing off. Peace. Peace. Peace.